Hello everyone, it is Thunder here, and welcome to another series on the channel. This is a, a series that I actually did a few years ago. Uh, kind of never got around to finishing, <laughs> long ways from finishing, in fact. Uh, but it's one that I wanted to come back to because I felt like um, there's... I wanted to kind of just re come and redo these videos. Uh, kind of hopefully do them a little bit better justice. Of course, I can only do so much considering I'm pretty bad at most of these games that I end up playing for these. But of course, for those of you who don't know, back in the heyday of the PlayStation 1, there was a common way for us to play games before they came out. Of course, you know them as demos. And these days, it's often either something you download from the store or simply something that you are part of, like say a beta test for a game, or early access as they're also now known as. And yeah, but back then it wasn't like that. Back then you simply just had these like simple demo discs, which just contained a house, like a full li a list of games, um, and it always changed be with each disc to kind of, you know, switch things up. And you'd often get these discs either bundled with your PlayStation, or you would get them through subscription services like magazines or stuff through the mail. Or you could even just um, go to a store and they would have these things to give out. And basically there's a whole bunch of them, and, you know, they're all very interesting in that sort of way. And they're not really a thing you see anymore because, you know, physical media is not, is like kind of gone to the wayside. And demos these days are just again the download stuff that you get onto your console, and they're not really, not really that fancy anymore. Simply just because you know nowadays it's all stuff that goes right to the console. So all these kind of f fancy layouts and kind of like neat little I videos and designs and everything, it's not really a thing you see no more. But this series, hopefully, I will try to hope uh, kind of give some people's uh, nostalgia trips a good feel uh, by going through these again. Uh, now for, so the first 11 videos that you're going to be seeing of these series is of the uh, demo discs that were provided with the PlayStation when you bought them new back in the day, uh, back when the uh, back in North America, of course, it was different uh, over in Europe, and I will show those off at a later date. But these are the discs that came with the console in North America, the interactive sampler series, and this is of course volume number one, the very first one that came out that were bundled with consoles when the system was brand new back in 1995. But this court is kind of aggressive design and the you are not ready thing because they're kind of tailoring the PlayStation for the, like the more uh, kind of more older, somewhat hardcore-ish audience. That's just how it was kind of presented back in the day. Now I'm going to be going through left to right to go through all these games. Now, if I had pressed start sooner, this would actually be the one that shows first. So, I'll, of course, we're going to be starting with this. This is Loaded, the first game on here by Interplay. Kind of one of the longer games on the demo disc, if my memory serves me correctly. There's, of course, the all the different screen uh, little button commands you get. And let's get right into it. Uh, should also mention, by the way, this is a bit of a disclaimer. I don't expect to be very good at most of these demos, so I apologize if you get frustrated by my poor gameplay ability. I don't consider myself any a professional by any means. This is just more to show off the games and kind of make videos for, I guess, in ways archival purposes, rather than um, try to really show off that I'm a really good gamer at uh, these sort of things, because I'm really not. But yeah, one of the things I like about Loaded, and the reason, of course, I'm just doing it first, other than it, usually, it is the one that normally shows up first, is that this particular demo actually gives you quite a bit of options in terms of how you want to control it, so you can easily choose your difficulty. We'll just, we'll just kind of go easy, just to kind of make it a bit of a, kind of make it less stress on me. Uh, you can also adjust your lives, the amount of continues, the volumes, the language, which in this is just English or French. Uh, which makes sense because I'm from Canada and we do both languages. Uh, list of controls, which you can actually change the controls in a demo. That's usually unheard of, but this demo will let you do that. So that's actually kind of really cool and some credits, which I'm going to skip. So let's go into it. Uh, just a one player game. Uh, the, this game does give you a selection of characters. You have about six of them, but unfortunately, only the first one here, Mama, is the playable character. The, le the rest are just kind of all here is like teasers really so that's really unfortunate especially because i like Cap captain hands actually looks interesting but sadly and flank as well but sadly no luck we can only choose this one because it's a demo after all so yeah this remember what i said by the way about this kind of being a bit more for the hardcore audience this is one of the this is quite a violent game for its time definitely for sure so the level one is prison holding cells, and it's just to find the exit to the next level. It's very simple. 
I uh, should mention as well, this is not the same emulator uh, for this game that I'm using uh, compared to last time I, when I did this in 2017. Uh, back when I played this demo uh, in for the older videos when I was with my buddy, um, that was on the EPSXE emulator. I've switched over to the Beetle PSX core for, uh, in the RetroArch front end uh, because I feel that this provides more accurate and better emulation. So it, it kind of, to me, it's... I think I feel it's a much better representation of how this would have played on the original console. I don't own an original PlayStation One, so unfortunately, I can't I can't show how it would have performed on there. So this is kind of like the next best option for me. Now you could just ask, why don't you just use something like the PS3? The PS3 is is good, but it's not. But it's not. The emulation is also not perfect. There are some games that kind of work a bit really funky, and I found that just from my from my testing. Oh, geez. From, I kind of just found that from my testing that I, I I'm just better I would just it just makes more sense to to use the a really good um, emulation core which is exactly what I'm doing so yeah this demo I do remember kind of goes on for a bit you could probably just like really quickly go through it if you're not really concerned about killing everyone but of course I'm gonna try to, to do what I can to show off at least a bunch of different things. Of course, I can only have so many of those. And oh, hey, there's the green card. Should have unlock a couple more areas. There's some more ammo. Yeah, this game's not too bad. It's, I mean, for a very early demo for 99.5, it's extremely primitive and honestly just very basic. But it's not. It's also not um, nothing that would really kind of vis you'd visually look at it and be like, oh, this just isn't doesn't hold up that well. I mean, there's there were definitely better violent game options for the PlayStation that would come. Uh, later on and that's that's just a given but for a very early game. It's actually not too bad. I Could I can imagine some people probably weren't would enjoy the uh, full version of this game So we're just gonna kind of go through this a bit now again if these demos take a while uh, quite a while I will probably switch over to another game be just so that you know, we're not focusing on one particular game for so long and that and that to the point where these demo disc videos end up becoming overly long or anything so that's just kind of kind of the goal I'm gonna go for here again I apologize if I don't particularly show everything off again this, these are more just meant to show you um, what these demo discs were like so Yeah, this is definitely this game. I think is one of the best examples of kind of the audience that the PlayStation uh, was going for um, back when the console was new in '95. They they weren't really interested in, in kind of attracting the more kiddie market, mostly because you saw that a lot already with like the Super Nintendo and the Sega Genesis and whatnot. And I guess and I think Sony at first they kind of really just wanted to kind of bring kind of bring in the older market to kind of get people interested in. Uh, who are who are a bit older in their age to, to get people to try out their console and you, for those who are who still had that uh, that itch to play is some some kind of struggling to come up with the words here that itch to kind of play some um, some video games <laughs> oh jeez uh, yeah this is one of the things about emulation it says slow CD image I don't particularly agree with that I think it's just it doesn't um, it doesn't like the idea. Of um, looping the music, I guess. This is. Can I at least turn that off? If so. Okay, there we go. We'll just. I can just turn that off, so we don't have to worry about hearing it. Again, that's just that's the thing with emulation. Sometimes you um. You don't always get the best results, but the re one of the reasons I really like this emulator is that it's very informative. It del it kind of tells you everything you need to know. I guess there's not really anything else in here, and I didn't want to use that there, but whatever. If you press circle in this game, you, you get you get a map so you can so you can see everything that's going on here. I have the blue cards. So I can go down this way. I can tell like with the map thing at the bottom. There's um like these those um. Oh, I took too much damage. That's the only thing too. If you if you um. That's the only thing too. If you kind of keep it on that map, you can't see your health. So if you ha you have to like switch just to see your health, which is a little annoying, but whatever. I 
Okay, I do remember this area here. I think when I played this before, I think that's this is the later part of this um, stage. Let's take a look at the map. Yeah. Oh yeah, there's nothing there. I, I, I always like the little money picks up. Like it's probably it, it, to give people an idea. Okay, this is uh, something you're probably gonna have to pick up in the actual game. But here it's um, just a thing, and not much more. I'm gonna lose another life here. I think in a moment. Yeah. Okay. I think I'm going to stop it there, because you kind of get the idea. Because, again, all the demo is is you're just getting to the end of the level, and I don't think it goes much further than that if my memory serves me correctly. So we're going to go ahead and move on to the next game, which I don't, again, I don't expect to do very well. And, oh, okay, sorry, it's not a level. Uh, it's a preview for the game Descent. Now, of course, with a lot of these demo discs, it wasn't always about... Um, the games you played. It was also to preview upcoming games, especially for those that were in an earlier state, so a playable demo wasn't really a thing for a lot of these games. So, that you just get a little simple thing there about the game Descent, which I believe we will see in Volume 2, if I remember correctly. So, you'll be seeing that pretty soon. Anyways, the next game we have here is NHL Face-Off. Again, it's another preview. Now, I do remember that some of these demos, like in including the interactive samplers, there are multiple versions of these. But I do not believe Volume 1 had any other versions, so I believe it... Um, so I do believe it. Uh, this is the only one, so there's we're not. I'm not going to be uh, suddenly switching versions to show off any additional stuff. Because Volume 1 stopped here. Yeah, not too many games so far. That's two videos, only one playable game. But the next play one is, in fact, a playable game. It is, of course, the original Wipeout. A very interesting game. Of course, you know me. If you've been following my channel, you know that I'm a huge uh, nut for racing games. That's sort of my shtick. So, hey, it's nice to see that even back in Volume 1, there was a playable racing demo. So again, this is this is quite a bare bones demo. You don't even get to pick the the vehicle or the track. It's just that's just all done for you. But I do like that the location of the track is in Canada, so it's home base for me. <laughs> oh jeez, uh, five point five kilometers max height, three hundred fifty nine meters. Yeah. So now again, because this is D pad control, it's going to be a little bit weird playing this because I'm mostly. When I a lot of the racing games I played on the original PlayStation, whichever ones I go back to, they're like ones that came out around the time joysticks were a thing. And this is, of course, still before that time. So this feels a bit. Cl As a result, this kind of feels a bit clunky. And again, another one of the reasons I'm doing the demos here is like I'm also making sure to use like. This is one of those things that has um. Uh. Multiple multiple audio tracks because like CDDA, but thankfully nowadays I just I can easily use something like uh, what is it CD Mage to to combine them all together so that they actually this time will play properly. I didn't actually mean to press that. Of course, select is the way to exit demos, but it's I, if I remember correctly, it's literally just one lap, so you you weren't you weren't missing out on too much more. Uh, but didn't mean to do that though, but whatever. We'll just. Um, We'll just, I'll just try to make sure to not do that again in the future. Uh, but the next one we have here is Destruction Derby. Kind of freezes up for a little bit. Only for this particular one. Uh, it always happens with this one. I'm not sure why, but hey. Again, unfortunately, this is just another preview. So no gameplay footage, but I'll at least let you play the video. And I might shut up for a bit so you can see this. Because I think this is one of the longer ones.
So yeah, Destruction Derby. One of the, it's considered by many really to be a, a a bit of a classic early game for the PlayStation. It was even put on the that uh, ill-fated PlayStation Classic. Personally, I think it's the weakest entry to Destruction Derby games. I think both Destruction Derby 2 and Raw, which were also released on the PlayStation, I think they're both better games. But of course, you know, still it still uh, resonates well with a lot of fans. Though the music was a very weird choice, like the techno music does not really fit a Carnage game like Destruction Derby. They would remedy that in the second game, however. But anyways, we got an yet another preview. This is NFL Game Day. And this is a bit of a different preview because it actually just is a preview seeing it in-game rather than it being one where it's like just the usual FMV stuff. I mean, this one does have an FMV, but hey. Now, I've never been a much of a sports guy for video games, although I, of course, I'm, I don't mind sports in general. In fact, there's, I just saw the team that I root pass, which is one of the helmets. Let's see if it, I'll mention if it shows up again. I'm going to say no, because it's focusing on the Chargers and the 49ers. I do actually quite like the 49ers. It's a shame they uh, lost the Super Bowl this past year, because they were the team I was rooting for. But hey, Kansas City was waiting a very long time, so I'm not going to be too 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 crude. Especially because I don't really have anything against the Chiefs. But my team is usually the Packers, and they had a surprisingly good season this past year, but I don't think a lot of people were expecting them to get to the uh, Super Bowl, and unfortunately they lost to the Niners, so that t turned out not to happen. But it is what it is. It's whatever. You know, there's always n another year. I've been alive to see them win a Super Bowl, so that's all that matters. I can't say that about the Leafs, who are a team I follow in hockey. I've never seen them win a cup. Who knows if I ever will. Oh, <laughs> Uh, it's a bit cut off here, but apparently there's bad sectors according to this. Does that mean it's not going to actually do anything? Oh no. It could also just be, I'm going to take a look at this, um, the CPU speed. I usually run it a bit more because it helps a lot of games, but I'm thinking maybe not this one. Uh, hmm. You did now. You did. You did see a little videos of it in the intro and whatnot. It's basically football. Not really much else I could say about that. I I can't even exit this now. I think, I think we might have to do a restart. Uh, again, this is stuff that I'm gonna figure out as we go through this series. So, uh, I'm still relatively new to using RetroArch in general, as well as the Beetle PSX Core. So. I'm still learning as I go on, to say the least. So that's just the thing to kind of keep in mind. I think I might actually just... Keep... I only like to kind of up the uh, overclock because it helps with a lot of games and stuff. In terms of speed. I'm going to... I'll try it one more time. Uh, just to sh try to show some footage of like the gameplay and stuff. It also could just be the CD thing as well. Because remember, it, it, was say it started doing that with um, loaded... Uh, and I changed it to what it, I believe it's normally supposed to be, which is synchronous. So it could be that. It could just be that it was still on that and that it needed a proper restart. But again, I'll try it again. If it works, great. If not, we'll just move on to the next one. Uh, again, this is this is sort of like the thing you kind of have to take a uh, caution with when it comes to emulation. Again, I don't own an original PlayStation 1 anymore, so I cannot play these as they were intended. So this is kind of this the next best option for me. And if anyone remembers the original series, there were a couple of um, demos on EPSXE that did not work properly. So this isn't new. <laughs> I'm just trying the best that I can with these. So I again, apologies if you didn't get to see what you were hoping for. It's just, you know, what can I do, really? Uh, hmm. I know it does sit at the loading for a bit, but I don't think it's supposed to just sit there like that. <laughs> oh no, no! It looks like even now we're not e we're not even getting it to 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 go past the loading. No, that's that's really a shame. Can I at least exit out of this? Nope, this one is not. It's just not. This just is not working. That is, um, yeah, Synchronous, it's supposed to mimic the original hardware. That's why I chose it. And I have the native loading speed and everything. So it's all, it's all supposed to be working. So that's unfortunate. So I'll set it. I'll just bring it back to what I had um, because, you know, that's I'm just kind of 
just kind of get rid of like lagginess and stuff. Uh, but well, we'll just we'll skip past that because again, it's all it is. It's just a video demo, which just it plays a, a game out for you. That's all it is. You're not really missing uh, anything special. So again, apologies. Just it's not working. So. So, let's just move on to the next one, which I know is actually a playable game. It is Twisted Metal. The, the first Twisted Metal. There were four of them on the... Actually, no, there were five of them on the original PlayStation. And, of course, most people's fondness are with the first two games. More so the second and the first. The first one's kind of weird. It's kind of, in some ways, it's kind of aged a bit weird. I think a lot... But then again, a lot of these really early PlayStation games, I, believe, I feel, kind of have that same problem, so... Anyways, I'm hoping with leaving it on synchronous that it might actually work better. Who knows? This was actually the one demo I tested before um, starting this video. Oh. Oh, it's just a video. I didn't even know there was one for this. Hey. I'll just um, let it run through, I guess. You can take a look at it. But yeah, again, this was just another one of those games that was really trying to sanctify. It was trying to attract that older audience just the idea of um having a bunch of guys going crazy in an open field just wanting to wreak havoc with their vehicles and stuff the first two games were kind of really special for a lot of people because it it was it wasn't just about the vehicles it, it had focused well on the characters as well so it was all about you know kind of building like a building a world and a story around it the second game especially more so than the first but that was kind of lost after with Twisted Metals 3 and 4 when it got uh, moved to 989 Studios. They kind of made it more about the cars and the carnage than the actual story bits. And for a lot of people, that it, it felt like a bit of a downgrade for them doing that. So that's why those games don't particularly hold up as well. The first game. Oh, jeez. Without kicking me out. Yeah, the first this first demo disc just really does not... Really has a mind of its own, it seems. But it's okay, we'll just go right back into it and actually play it because yes, we can play this game, I promise. Right, there we go. So of course we can take a look through the vehicles. We have Sweet Tooth, of course, one of the main recurring characters of the series. We got Yellow Jacket, Dark Side, Outlaw, Thumper, Crimson Fury, Pit Viper, Warthog, Mr. Grimm. Spectre, Hammerhead, and Roadkill. I'm gonna go with Roadkill because I kind of like the vehicle in general. It's very much, it's very Mad Max. As wow, this game does not want me. This unless it's just the um the speed of this game does not want me sitting around. Okay, I'm sorry. We'll just get into the game. Please do not kill me. <laughs> just have this guy kill me. <laughs> it used to be Hammerhead. So this game actually is you don't use the you don't use X to accelerate. You use either square or up on the D-pad. Which, considering that this is a that this is before the time of the Dual Shock, imagine just being one of those people who who back then who like imagine you didn't know that you could use square and that you try to play with pressing up and you have to also use the D-pad to move around. That just must be extremely extremely awkward I could not I would could not get on with that I did try it off screen and whoo it, it, it just it just feels on it feels unnatural and way too clunky <laughs> the worst thing too is like when I was doing the testing I was I was it actually put me up against mr. Grimm so I actually stood more of a chance I actually won so that's a bit of a shame to say the least and as soon as you lose it just that's it it just boots you out <laughs> oh well so that's Twisted Metal. I, that's all there is to it. If you even if you win, that's you pretty much it'll just say like thanks for playing the Twisted Metal demo, and it'll just move kick you back out here. So, not nothing different from uh, not um, winning there. So next is another playable game. It is Warhawk, and you might remember that this game was actually released. They made a new Warhawk for the PlayStation Three. For those of you who may remember that. You got quite a bit of controls here. I am not expecting to do very good at this at all. I remember playing the demo of this and not remembering very well on what to do. Probably still don't know really know what to do. So, but yeah, this is another early early game, kind of one I, that was notably standout. 
So yeah, the demo, it's, I'm supposed to find that red canister. And again, all I really know about doing with this, with this demo is just shooting at things, I think. Like, I always want to think you're supposed to go with those red beacons or something. Or whatever, but maybe you don't. You have, you have to like just fly around a bit and you just, you shoot at a bunch of things, you lock on, you fire. You, you create carnage, you blow things up. That's pretty much how I imagine it works. And from the looks of it on the top left, I do have a rejuvenating health bar, like uh, refills itself. So that's nice. Oh, but I'm almost already out of ammo on that. What's the button to change? Okay. It's a triangle button. Okay. That's, that's easy enough. But yeah. There's a, there's just a whole bunch of things you got to go for. There's some picks, uh, pickups. Oh, hey, it recharges your shields. That's nice. There's other people you can shoot at. Things on the... Even some things on the ground here. Not sure why I would was trying to go for that. I guess I was more just trying to show it off than anything else. It's also a good thing that I did try this on this emulator as well as doing the CD Mage thing to combine all the, the audio tracks into the proper bin file. Because now it means all the tracks actually play properly. Because I was having that a lot with some of the demos and the other ones where it was just silence. So now a lot of these actually will play the uh, music as intended. Now that's not to say that every demo had music. Not all of them did, but... This at least makes, keeps it a lot, again, a lot closer to how it would have run on the original PlayStation, which again was one of the one of the goals I was aiming for when coming back to this series. I wanted I wanted to try my best to kind of, you know, get it to run as it would on. Oh, I'm having a shield failure. That's not good. Can I get like away from them? Maybe. Oh God, I guess that's. Is that, what is that, kind of reset me or something? That just looked like a seizure and that kind of freaked me out. I think it's a nice shield flick. I'm going to grab that. There we go. I'm at least doing okay. Oh. It. Oh. Oh, that's a shame. It froze. Ooh, this is... <laughs> I'm having a lot of these. Maybe I really should have tested this out a bit more when I was doing this series. All right, where's the CPU speed? I'm going to put that just back to um, native, just in case that's having anything to do with it. And I'm sorry, I'm just make, going over these real quick. We'll just set it more to some default settings in the hope, as well as I'll turn off the PGXP in case that has anything to do with it. Um, just, to, just to hope that we don't keep having freezes and stuff. But again, I, was, I don't think I ever really did retrieve the thing when I first played this, so... Yeah. <laughs> I Again, I apologize that you've had to see this so many times. But again, this is just, this I think is going to serve as hopefully as a testing bench to figure out what to uh, kind of focus on um, going forward. I will try the, the, the speed up stuff in the next volume off screen it before I do it again to hopefully make sure that this is one. It, it, it's not the source of any issues and I also turned the PGXP off so which is a nice feature but having it off makes it again makes it kind of represent closer to how it would have been on the original PlayStation so yeah so Mortal Kombat I suck at this game I really do I don't think I ever won a match doing this and I still expect it to be the same so to those of you who are fans of Mortal Kombat, I am will, I apologize wholeheartedly up front. This is Mortal Kombat 3. This is actually one that I ha um was actually not easy to get running on EPSXE. Like certain um certain I think what is it? Audio is it I don't know if it's audio or video cores like the way this game is, it, it, it has to sync with, like, the music playing, and not all the chords would play the music. So I'd have to have, like, a certain chord just to do that. Uh, I, I, now, I did test this particular one, and it does work, so... But this is what you, you will probably expect, is to take a lot of damage. So I'm just gonna skip that, and we'll do... We'll just do a couple rounds, have me die, and... 
So you get a whole, you get the whole view of the, uh, of all the different characters you can play, but you can only choose between these two here. Kano and I I'm, unfortunately do not re remember the name of the woman. So you have two different levels though. You can choose the street or the subway. We're gonna go with the subway. And no, not the uh, the place where you get some delicious sandwiches. But of course, you probably knew that. But yeah, basically my whole thing is just. It seems like the AI just know all the moves right away, whereas I'm just trying to figure out like how to like how to. The thing with me is I usually just I usually just mash buttons in the hope that something happens. That's not how that's supposed to work, but and the problem is I just I could never time. I just I have no timing. I. Because it happens so suddenly, and I never have enough to... I never have enough to react. Oh, hey, we actually do get to see a fatality, which did not happen when I was testing this off-screen. So that's cool. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm not very good at these games. The only fighting games I really played on demo discs that I remember actually being able to play and do any good with... I think it was the Tekken games, and those, and I tend to like those a lot because those I feel are much easier to get into because they're more open to um, newcomers. Though, of course, you play the actual games, and um, of course, they they start becoming a lot more challenging. But yeah, that's it. That's Interactive Sampler Volume One. You don't get too many playable games. There's not a whole lot to show off for this, and this is the only demo in the series that uses this kind of layout. So. Yeah, this one, this is definitely already it. It's going to be one of the shorter videos in the series as a result. But regardless of the, the technical glitches and my poor gaming, uh, my, poor, uh, my poor gaming abilities and stuff, I hope you still enjoyed this video. Uh, stay tuned because next up, of course, will be Interactive Sampler Volume 2. So stay tuned for that. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, why not hit that like button or hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon to see when the next video comes out. Uh, come support the channel or on Patreon if you wish. And speaking of which, thank you so much to Toxic Honey Badger and Monday Bear 21 for their amazing support over on Patreon. Thanks again, and I will catch all of you on the next video, hopefully.